Mm, talk about a scary job. Jeez, must be National Risk Your Life Day because these guys are out there doing the same thing. No harness, just, just tripping over one of those cables. Come on, man. <gasps> Hey, what's going on everybody? I hope you uh, enjoyed that intro. By the way, the guy was okay. There was no problems. He was totally fine. That's what you call shock value. And that's why I uh, made it that way. Anyways, so a couple quick things. First of all, yes, my shoulder is still wrecked. It's destroyed. I have absolutely no ability to lift my elbow over my head. It's a pain in the ass and it's really affecting my blogging. But what I am going to do is have an awesome vlog day with you guys. I hope you guys are going to enjoy this. We're going to go check out a couple of different little places. Um, UAE gems, if you will. Um, it's been a while since we've done one of these little quick little UAE gem hotspots. So today we're going to go check out a couple of them, bring you along for the ride. So I hope you enjoy it. So I spent a lot of time over the past few months kind of trying to like figure out exactly what I want to portray my channel as. I mean, obviously it's about me, right? But if I were to tell you one interesting fact about me and you're new here, what I would say is that I have contracted in a war zone, specifically Afghanistan, for over four years. Um, spent a lot of my time there missing birthdays, miss missing Christmases, doing all these things to afford luxuries to be able to travel and share those experiences with you guys. Obviously this year has been a little bit different, but in the future, I hope to bring more of those experiences you know, along with you. And I only know like a handful of people who have ever vlogged and been to war zones, uh, specifically Afghanistan. And what I mean by that is contracted for the military out there and then actually created vlogs um, outside of that. Uh, it's really it's really a slippery slope because if you make a video that goes viral, you can definitely lose your job. And, uh, you know, I can kind of show an example of that here. Kahanity former Marine Staff Sergeant Steve Gurn was working as a private security contractor in Iraq, well, at least until a few days ago, when he was forced to flee the country. Now, he posted a video on Facebook talking about President Trump's temporary travel ban. It got more than 44 million views. But the big deal is, is that I never wanted to put myself in a situation where my job could be jeopardized because of my hobby. But I'm winning in so many places in life. Obviously, YouTube isn't one of them. <laughs> but uh, I like to film and I like to you know, share experiences with people. So if you found anything you know, beneficial for my channel or if you enjoy watching the, the vlogs, def definitely consider subscribing. Uh, I do appreciate all the people that have subscribed to me and I really appreciate uh, the new people that have kind of checked out my videos and, and, and liked those. And, uh, giving me some feedback. I really do appreciate it. I'm always trying to put in a little bit extra. I always try to you know, give you guys a little extra something, whether it's a uh, floating text or some kind of uh, cool jump cut or some kind of nice you know, transition. You know, I'll invest some time in my vlog, but the big thing for me is I don't want to invest so much time in my vlog that I don't put out the content as fast as I could. Um, I'm not a volume guy by any means. Obviously, you can look at my channel and see that I'm not pumping them out like every two or three days. What I do like to do is make a certain level of quality standard and then like let the rest kind of like flow. So as, as far as like the future of the channel, I'm not exactly sure what I'll have entail for you guys. All I know is that now that I'm out of the war zone, um, for obvious reasons, I can film a lot more and I'm putting out a lot more content. So if you enjoy this stuff, subscribe, whatever you want to call it. Before this rank goes on any longer, I just want to say I hope you guys enjoy the vlog. It's going to be a cool one. We are going to go ahead and check out another amazing UAE gem and I'm really excited about this one. So I hope you enjoy it and uh, yeah, I'm not going to tell you what it is. You have to stay tuned to find out. So today's UAE gem is a rare one. It's an awesome one. It's a cool and kind of weird one, but uh, it's very appropriate for this time because obviously it's Halloween. So I, I thought what more of an appropriate place to go other than the ghost village. So if you take a look around, all these little houses are like semi abandoned. They're all kind of buried under sand in the middle of the desert. Uh, really, really cool place. Obviously right now there's a lot of people here. I think even some trick-or-treaters are here. It's like an abandoned project to my understanding. And it's a really cool place if you want to go kind of like off-roading, but at the same time get a little bit of a uh, good photo op, good photo shoot experience. As you can see, it's uh, Nazira Sabit. Well, I'll have to link her in the description below, but yeah. Honestly, really cool place. The sun is kind of going down over the dunes right now.
And then obviously there's tons of off-roading that goes on around here. Really cool place and because of that, this definitely makes it on the list of one of the UAE gems that are kind of Instagrammable, nice places to go take photos, videos, photo shoots, etc. That's sunset. Sunset looks good, doesn't it? Almost lost my glasses. I love golden hours. This is uh, definitely one of the best places to go if you want to hear a bunch of kids screaming. Uh, it's actually Halloween, or at least the day before Halloween, so there's a lot more kids out here than usual, but this place is an amazing place, especially during the golden hour. You get the beautiful, amazing sun lighting up all the golden dunes that are out there. And it was way too hot to come out here like two or three months ago, so that's the reason why I pretty much put this thing off until now. But couldn't have picked a better time. Honestly, the weather outside right now is probably about 70 degrees. And again, kind of in the middle of the summer. And just, yeah, man, these golden dunes are just amazing to, uh, to get in your photo shoot if you want to have like a photo op. And also if you want to go dune bashing or whatever you want to do, this is a great place for that too. Great place to bring the kids for some, uh, some family fun. But also a great place if you want to get like some awesome Instagram ready photos or whatever, you know, you can come out here and take a bunch of photos, do some modeling. And yeah, I think that um, this definitely has to make one of UAE's hidden gems list probably at the very top, if not second top, because not very many people know about this place. Brought the, uh, brought the crew today, the boy Jake flying the drone. And as you can kind of see over the horizon, I don't know if this will pick it up, but the moon is just rising over the, the hills there where there's more mountains and et cetera. So I think maybe we should go check out a couple more of the little uh, houses, give you guys a little inside look of what they, uh, they have on the inside, which is pretty much the sand. Sand and nothing much. But I'll go ahead and show you real quick. I make these houses fully livable. This next window is effectively like the neighbor's house and there really isn't much in there other than sand and a little bit of trash but what you can do during the right lighting conditions is get some really cool photos like the one I'm about to show you. So I couldn't tell you exactly why but whenever I was a kid one of the things that gave me the most amount of anxiety was like the last day of school or seeing like a building completely empty and I think that um, this place is nothing short of that, meaning that there's nobody here, that there's a bunch of buildings that could have been something that are not something. It just like ugh, does something on the inside of me. It's like somebody put their time and effort into building it and then it never got used. And it seems so wasteful to me. I don't care about the wastefulness, but like the feeling that it gives me inside of here, like almost as if the building has like human-like characteristics, like the building is sad because it never had anyone to like enjoy it. And that's kind of how I felt about like school, like on the last day, it was always like empty hallways. It kind of like gave me like this sad little like anxiety feeling of like, man, so many memories were made here. So many things were done here, but now it's all over. It's come to an end. But yeah, this place is definitely a place to go check out. I would highly recommend it. Probably uh, one of the top five places in Dubai to go check out if you want to have like a little fun day, even bring like some food and have like a little picnic and just, uh, you know, get some awesome photos. But as for me, I think I've had enough. The sun's going down and the car rental company called me up and said that I have to get the car out of the desert. Who rents an all-wheel drive vehicle just to freaking drive around on the street? I rented it so I can drive around in the desert. And they, they, they didn't tell me that. We all know how well I handle rental car companies whenever they start trying to give me a hard time. So yeah guys, we're gonna go ahead and hop on over to our next little hidden spot. I'm gonna do a two for one bonus in this video. So stick around and we'll, uh, we'll show you that next place. Today I have an awesome little treat. This is the east coast of UAE and one of my favorite places to go if I'm looking for beauty in nature. This is called Korfa Khan. Over here you have the beautiful Gulf of Oman and then to the left you have the amazing mountains of Fujairah. And the weather up here is amazing. It smells great. 
you have clean fresh air and it's definitely a nice little getaway from Dubai. So if you're really into outdoors and you like going outside and hiking and things like that, this is definitely a place for you to go. Hopefully the, the wind isn't too bad for the, uh, the microphone, but uh, basically there's a huge trail on like the, I would say the south side of Corfu Khan, where it's called, uh, I believe the Rabbit Fox Trail or the Rabbit Trail. And you literally go all the way up to the top of this mountain, which is about probably a one hour hike to the very top. So the official vote has been passed where you're going to climb this mountain. And uh, yeah, the other side, the view is amazing. It's gonna be absolutely worth it. I can't wait to get up there. I can't wait to really put this, this low light monster to the test and make sure that it actually performs. And yeah, there's nothing better than being out on the top of a mountain during whether it's the morning golden hour or the evening golden hour. Cause as you can see, I look amazing in this light. <laughs> to the semi top of this mountain. It's actually much, much taller, but we, uh, we've decided to throw in the towel for the night. I think that uh, for one, the lighting isn't the best, but I really wanted to test out the low lighting of this, this uh, A7S III and see how well it performs whenever shooting in like almost pitch black darkness. Uh, it is a moonlit night, so I was hoping that uh, be able to get that in the shot, but uh, I really just wanted to see how the noise looks and uh, of course look check out this amazing bokeh in the background bokeh whatever you want to call it uh, it looks really cool and uh, hopefully i don't come out too grainy but this is definitely a view definitely a place to go check out if you're out in corfa Khan, make sure that if you have your hiking shoes and some shorts that you make it up to the top of this mountain and i'll put the exact name at the bottom of the uh, screen right now. I'll go up here. Thanks so much for watching. If you uh, like the video, please click the thumbs up. And uh, if you're new here, consider subscribing. If you're coming back for more, thanks so much. I really appreciate it. See you later, guys.